seconds out, first round. Well, on uh, all known form, uh, Hodkinson will start a hot favourite for this. Hodkinson in the crimson trunks. And the, the logo, Hocko, that's his uh, nickname in Liverpool, Hocko, and that's emblazoned on the front of the shorts. It was only in June that he lost that uh, world title fight when he was well ahead on all cards. But with both eyes shut in the eighth round, he simply couldn't go on because he couldn't see. There was a lot of distress in the family at the time about it. And in fact, the family wanted him to retire. But Hodkinson decided to go on. <laughs> Belligue is the reigning French champion. beginning to thump quite hard right hands into the body. And Belik trying to work behind the left jab, moving quite lightly on his feet, looks fast. There'll be some concern here about Hodkinson's eyes. It's only four to five months since that uh, unsuccessful world title challenge. Two, I would think he's certainly the harder puncher. And you might want to try and get to rid of this man fairly quickly. One or two red patches on the face of the Frenchman already. threatening very much with that quick right cross. And Hodkinson finishes the round. Very much the man in charge. 25 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, the defending champion. Here's his record. And uh, that uh, defeat, that one defeat in that unsuccessful challenge against Marcus Villasana in June in Manchester when he couldn't go on in the eighth round. And uh, all his 17 wins, all inside the distance. This is the Frenchman, Guy Belli, from Po, the beautiful uh, spa in the foothills of the Pyrenees. His first attempt at winning a European title. It's not his first appearance in this country. He was here less than two years ago in Basildon in an eight-round non-title fight against Mark Reefer, the current Commonwealth Junior Lightweight Champion, and Reefer stopped him in three rounds. Frenchman from the right. Well, if Mark Reefer could uh, get rid of him in three rounds, Hodkinson will fancy his chance to do something similar. Great Britain currently on, a, on the crest of the wave where European titles are concerned at this moment. Britain has six European champions including a new one tonight, Lennox Lewis. Oh. Dutch referee. 
Looks a bit like a straight man from a Charlie Chaplin film. Challenger is over in the second round. Compulsory eight count, even though he's up on his feet. Now then, can Hodkinson from Newhall finish it off? Blood coming from the nose and mouth of Belligue. champion trying very hard to find his way back into this Hopkinson serving early notice of his power of punch and he's putting a lot into this second round now to try and get rid of the challenger right hand from Hodgson will take his head off <laughs> Belik still trying to jab his way out of trouble with the left hand and still walking into quite heavy punches to the head couldn't get it over in the second round and Bali walks quite firmly and confidently back to his corner but quite heavily marked about the nose well we can see again now just how Hawkinson put him down in the second round dancing on him beautiful beautiful right hand that was always the punch from the start of this fight that he threatened with and there now appears to be a slight cut at the side of the Frenchman's left eye. And that's the Frenchman's record. And uh, it doesn't compare, as you can see, with the record of Hawkinson. So he's been down, and he's slightly cut. So Belig now has got a mountain to climb if he's to take this time. attack from this ruthless Hawkinson and that will be good night for the French challenger. One left hook swept it off his feet, his head banged the canvas all too hard as he went down and it's all over. So Hawkinson in his third defence of this European title has done it again and he's won inside the distance every time he's fought for this title. He won it in two rounds against Raymond Armand of France he stopped Peter Harris of Wales in nine. He stopped Farid ben Rejeb of France in eight rounds. And uh, here he is now with a win in the third round. Again, the left hook it was. What a punch. Scything left hook. Swept the man right off his feet. Watch this. That one. He came up on his toes and went flat out. And unfortunately, he cracked his head very hard as he went down. As you'll see again here, oh, the whiplash effect all too bad there. And he's only just now being held to his feet. 